Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. And I'm Allie. And I'm Mo. Now, you see, I'm not going to be on weather for about three weeks or even more, depending on what we get for our jobs next time. Now, um, for those taking I step, uh, good luck today. For those that aren't, well, have a uh, good day, I guess. Bye. And we're your new hosts, and we promise to be better than Ricky and Izzy were. It's time for weather with Ivan, who isn't going to do better than Mo. Thank you, Ali, so much. Thank you. It's currently 30 degrees. At lunch, it'll be 33. And at 3, it's going to be 34. And tomorrow's going to be warmer. And guess where I am. And the first person who guesses is going to get chocolate bar. <laughs> Thank you. Back to the studio. Thanks, Ivan. Tonight is the opening reception for the Psi Iota Psi Clinton County Art Show at the library at 6 o'clock. This Wednesday is Hispanic Student Day at Lafayette Ivy Tech Campus. The bus will leave at 7.30 and return around 2.30 with lunch being provided. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Johnson. Seniors, capping out and graduation orders will be available for pickup Wednesday during lunch. Prom tickets are on sale for $20 this week only and will return to the regular price of $25 next Monday, April 23rd. The Clinton County College and Career Fair is this Wednesday from 5.30 to 7 at the fairgrounds. Colleges in attendance include Indiana Wesleyan, Vincennes University, and Wabash College. It's time for sports with whoever's on sports. Wow, thanks, Ali. The Frankfurt Hot Dogs and 19 other teams met at the Tippecanoe Country Club for the annual Twin Lakes Invitational. The Hot Dogs found the lake-lined course difficult, but managed a 15th place finish in an extremely talented field. J.T. Whitlock shot an 84, Simon Weber shot an 88, Casey Klez a 92, along with Drew Grismer and Nolan Barnes 109s to yield a 373-team score. Noblesville's 304 provided a champion's trophy by 14 strokes over the nearest competitor. Varsity baseball team kicked off the weekend by defeating Carroll 11-4 on Friday. Brandon Compton pitched well to pick up the win. On Saturday, the team struggled early versus Franklin Central in the first round of the Athenian Invitational and couldn't dig out of an early hole, losing 14-1. The Hot Dogs struggled early versus Crawfordsville in the consolation game, falling behind 6-0. However, Luis Hernandez and Gabe Chavez pitched well out of the bullpen to keep the team in the game before ultimately losing 7-3. The boys and girls track team traveled up to North Montgomery this past Friday for the Charger Relays. The team had many strong performances, but only one set of relay champions. Colton Crum and Noah Debris took first in the pole vault, which is a personal record for the school. The girl throwers had an outstanding night. Girls placed second in both shot and disc with Kenny Garcia disc and Ella Myers shot gained personal best in their event. To highlight the night, Myers and Garcia joined up with Zeke Vandeventer and Annie Palmer for the Thrower's 4x100. The team placed second and showed much promise. Now for a video highlighting the track meet.
Nick. Decca cookies this week will be M&M, chocolate chip, sugar, and chocolate brownie. Stop by the Decca cart to purchase your cookies today. Congratulations to the Frankfurt Orchestra for receiving a gold rating performance and a gold rating in sight, perform sight reading on Saturday at the ISMA Organizational Contest at Lafayette Jefferson High School. That's it for the daily announcements. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. This has been a, a lie production. <laughs>